you've been asked to prepare a webinar on a hot topic in your organization, or you need to translate a four hour face to face training into a one hour webinar. You prepare your slides, your script and your computer are ready. Everyone seems to be excited. You do your thing and then the feedback comes in. Boring. That's one hour of my life I'm never getting back and I can watch the recording again to put me to sleep at night. What happened? Well, for one, you didn't follow our tips for creating an engaging webinar. So let's remedy that. Hello and welcome to the L&D Academy's channel where we talk about all things learning and development. My name is Irina and today I'm going to share with you 15 tips to make your webinar more engaging. First, let's get the basics out of the way. If you're using polls, annotations, whiteboards and reactions in your webinars, that's already a great start, but we're moving past these and focusing on elements that will take your webinar engagement to the next level. So let's begin with tip number one, purposeful and clear objectives. This may not be fun or exciting, but it is the single most important thing you need if you want to create engaging webinars. The main question you must answer is, why is this webinar needed? Or you can rephrase it to what will the participants walk away with? My personal instructional design style is to always look for the practical takeaway. For example, a technique you can use to calm your nerves before a big presentation or model managers can follow to coach their direct reports. Once you know what the purpose of your webinar is, break it down into specific skills and knowledge define the objectives and give your webinar a direction that will help you create meaningful content. Not to mention that purposeful and clear objectives will help your audience understand what they can expect to gain from participating before they set foot inside your webinar, so to speak. Tip number two, engaging pre-webinar activities. Engagement with your webinar shouldn't start at the beginning of the session. Use the time before participants log in to engage them. Maybe they can record a short video, read an article, or fill in a survey. Whatever activity you go for, make sure that it stimulates their interest and isn't one of those tedious tasks they have to do on top of their already huge to-do list. Step number three, gamification. Any game-based design elements you add to your webinar will surely be crowd pleasers. Consider adding things like mini competitions, awarding points, leaderboards, rewards for participation, and so on. But just to be clear, gamification is much more than just counting points. So instead, focus on the game-like elements we mentioned here. It will boost engagement and make learning more fun and interactive. Tip number four, use emotion and storytelling. There is a famous quote by Maya Angelou that says, people don't always remember what you say or even what you do, but they always remember how you make them feel. And this is true for webinars as well. Tell compelling stories, use humor, or create a personal connection with your audience through emotional language and storytelling. Tip number five, real-time demonstration. Not every topic will allow for a demonstration, but if it's appropriate, show people how a new software performs or the workflow of a process or a soft skills model. This will give the audience a practical understanding of the subject and demonstrate the desired end goal more visually and kinesthetically. Tip number six, multimedia integration. Listening to someone talk for an extended period of time can be tiresome. So switch it up with videos, infographics, audio clips, and animations. These can bring your content to life and help break up the presentation to maintain the audience's interest. Tip number seven, active social media involvement. Social media is ever present in our lives. And if you can't beat it, join it. You can use social media for pre-event promotion, live tweeting during the event, or a post-webinar discussion place. This can create a buzz around the session and prolong the engagement way after it is over. Tip number eight, clear and visually compelling slides. We can talk about visually compelling slides for many hours, days even. But for the purposes of this video, let's just say that you need to create slides that people will understand in three seconds. People can either listen to you or read your slides. They won't do both simultaneously. Not without missing key parts of your message anyways. 
So make sure they can quickly comprehend your visuals and then turn their attention back to what you're saying. Try to use as little text as possible. Instead, focus on bullet points, diagrams, images, or infographics to convey your message more effectively. Tip number nine, participant collaboration. Who said the facilitator is the only one to talk during a webinar? Get your attendees into breakout rooms and have them discuss a topic, solve a problem together, or even work on a project. Social and collaborative learning have tons of benefits, like enhancing learning retention, creating a sense of belonging, and most importantly for us, making the webinar more interactive. Keep in mind that not everyone will feel comfortable talking to people they haven't met in person before. So, if you're going to use breakout rooms, allow some people to opt out of the experience, but also make sure to tell them that they'll be missing out and if they prefer, they can participate as silent observers instead. Tip number 10, audience spotlights. Breakouts may not always be possible, so consider giving your audience a spotlight instead. You can take a moment to acknowledge someone's comment, idea, or question, or showcase someone's work, have them share their experiences and contribute to the content with their own perspective or experience. This encourages more participation because it shows the audience their engagement is valued and recognized. Tip number 11, virtual backgrounds and props. Go nuts with your virtual background and props. Have them search for clues in your background related to the topic, or have them change their background based on a theme. For example, a color that reflects their mood right now. Some webinar softwares even allow you to use filters, so why not utilize those as well? By the way, we changed something in our background just now. Can you find out what it is? Let us know in the comments down below. Tip 12, use of augmented or virtual reality. AR and VR are becoming more and more prevalent in our day to day. So it's only natural that you try to incorporate these into your webinar, making it an immersive and unforgettable experience for your participants. You can demonstrate a new product in 3D, lead everyone on a virtual site tour, create an immersive learning simulation, create an interactive presentation as opposed to static slides, visualize data more creatively, and so much more. Tip number 13, use of chatbots. And while we're talking about new technologies, why not use AI chatbots during your webinar? A well-designed chatbot can respond to frequently asked questions, provide technical support, and even deliver the content. The way that works is to program the chatbot to provide additional resources or links in response to a certain trigger word or phrase from a participant. Tip number 14, inclusion of relevant case studies. Of course, no amount of new technology can replace the good old case study. Real world examples can not only make your webinar more engaging, but can provide context and make it easier for attendees to see how the information can be applied to their own situations. Tip number 15, expert panel discussions. Finally, you can add yet another level of interactivity by inviting experts to share their unique perspectives for a more dynamic and engaging discussion. This brings a variety of industry experts to a single platform. If you follow at least some of these tips, you can wave goodbye to boring and say hello to riveting webinars. Make sure to define clear objectives up front and then wrap your participants in an engaging blanket of pre-webinar activities, multimedia content, gamification, and compelling storytelling. Use real-time demonstration, integrate virtual backdrops, modern wonders like AR and VR, and AI chatbots for an immersive experience. And don't forget the power of social media to create a buzz. Use visually clear slides, stimulate participants' collaboration, and shine the spotlight on your audience. Roll out relevant case studies and invite expert panelists for a dynamic discussion. Your webinar is not a one-man or one-woman show, but a vibrant, interactive stage where knowledge and experience are shared. So take the leap and let your webinars be the talk of the town. What did we miss on our list? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you reached the end of the video, I have a favorite to ask. Go to the comment section down below and let us know what emoji or two or three 
best describe what you thought of our video. We respond to all comments, so you'll get an emoji from us as well. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a like and a share and consider subscribing because this is the best way for us to reach a wider audience of aspiring and experienced L&D pros like yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your webinars and I'll see you in the next one.